don't know why I'm doing this again, but I am doing it again. Very few writers know what they're doing until they've done it. And Lamont. Hello, my name is Austin and welcome back to my channel. Today is the very awesome 18th day of Camp NaNoWriMo, the April 2020 Camp NaNoWriMo. If you're new here, I post Camp NaNoWriMo videos every single day during this month and I will keep posting videos once this month is done about more writing things and book things and all of that. So I would love it if you'd subscribe. Just a warning, I am not feeling the most creative today. I am feeling just a little bit not creative and so I am just doing a repeat topic that I've already done but I think it will be fun because I am reading from my terrible book again and there will be some awful awful chapters I promise I haven't read them yet the excerpts I will read but they will be awful before I get to that though the NaNoWriMo goal for today, if you are writing 50,000 words, is to be at 30,004 words. What? I can't believe it. 30,000 words. I am at 30,004 or 500 words, I believe. So I'm about 500 words behind. I have barely written anything today just because of my lack of energy, which I talked about earlier. So... I hope you have had a better day writing than me, but if not, it's okay. We are just taking a break and we will be back to writing tomorrow. If you are behind, you can still catch up. I did it a few days ago. You can catch up. It doesn't matter how many words behind you are, you can get to your goal. Just spend time behind that screen typing away. Don't think about anything. Well, think about your story, but don't let the editor come out. Just type, type all those words that are in your mind and you can do it. I believe in you, let's make your story happen and I will have mine happen and then we can exchange stories someday and I will read yours and realize how much better it is than mine and you can read mine and laugh. <laughs> that will be what you do when you read my story. So, the big book is back out. The book I wrote when I was nine has return terrifyingly I saw last time I did this some of you liked it and so I will read more excerpts from my perfect award-winning book it actually won no awards here is the dust cover again and since the last time I did this sort of thing I have read a bit more from my dust jacket and so I thought I would read about the author section which is right here because I never read it last time I forgot about it and it's pretty embarrassing so about the author I am an actor and a writer who of course loves writing I also really like singing and playing sports like basketball basketball, and football. My favorite subject is French, and I have a dog named Jack. To begin, I thought I would read to you a few more chapter titles from my awesome book, and those are Cover For Me, Cover For Me Part 2, way later in the book, Cover For Me, dot, 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 again, better than critical, up, up and away, Okay, those were some of the best chapter titles you have ever read in your entire life. Don't lie. You're jealous. You can't steal them either because I made those my chapter titles and they are all mine. If you didn't watch the first video or you need a little bit of a remembrance, this book is a book where there is a person named Q who was plagiarized from A in Pretty Little Liars, if you ever saw that. Q stalks a group of five teens, tweens, I forget their ages. And it is an adventure trying to unmask Q. So like 
a murder mystery, but without the murder. There's a little bit of murder at the end, but spoilers. Oh well. So, I am bringing out the random number generator again to read some random passages and excerpts. So, page number 57. This is from the chapter. Scavenger hunts can be deadly. I guess I'll just read you the whole chapter since it's not even a page. Jared just told us to run around and try to find that girl. So I am running around like a maniac, a very crazy person. I ran through the bathroom, down to the kitchen, and down to the basement by the ratty old ping pong table we played earlier that day, hoping to find any leads or clues about the girl in the mask. I then ran back upstairs and through the front door. I looked around and I saw one very, very strange thing. Jared lives right by the welcome to Forbes, Michigan. Our population is 4,569 sign. But one thing that was weird was that the nine was X'd off and now there was an eight. Could this be by the girl in the mask? When I went back inside to tell everyone, I got a text. I have Tanner. If you want him back, you are going to have to follow my rules. Q. Pretty epic. Page nine. This is from the chapter Ghost Protocol. I specifically remember choosing this chapter, naming it Ghost Protocol when I was little, because I saw a trailer for the movie Ghost Protocol or something, the Mission Impossible movie, and I named my chapter that, and it has nothing to do with ghosts or protocols or ghost protocols. Page nine. Guess what? We all looked at her bright-eyed. What? We said then in unison. And we went on. I was across the street at freezing for a reason. And I got us all our favorite ice creams. Where are they? We all said incredibly excited, especially me, because I love ice cream. Then Caden said by himself, what flavor? Then Emily said, on the kitchen island, and Toffee Tango. And that is why my book is called Toffee Tango. Yup. It has such a relevance to the whole book. That is the only time that ice cream is mentioned, that frozen yogurt, whatever. Toffee Tango. And then I named my book it. Yes, we all shouted. Toffee Tango was our favorite flavor. It's actually the only ice cream we would ever get from freezing for a reason. We all ran downstairs like a stampede in motion. When we got to the kitchen island, we all literally dug our faces into the Toffee Tango ice cream. Page 143. This is from the chapter, The Great Escape. I was looking at the solid ground and picturing me falling to it. That didn't have the best end scene, but I did notice that the ladder was on the ground at the bottom. There were pipes scattered all over the room. They look old and rusted, and they were once probably used as aqueducts. I had no clue what aqueducts were. I was wondering if I could hold on to them to get to the bottom, but decided not to try because my leg hurt way too much. I was thinking of other ways, but it felt awkward because everyone was silent. Do you think there's any way we can get down to the bottom? Caden asked nervously. I shook my head, wondering, then wondering some more, thinking if there was anyone inside this room that could help us. I had an idea on the tip of my tongue, ready to spit it out, but couldn't come up with the other half. I knew I saw something inside the room we could use, but what was it? It wasn't fur coats or clowns, not puppets or glass from broken mirrors. What was it? What did I see? I was thinking of falling again, then I remembered. Guys, I know a way we can get down from here. I then opened the door, went into the room, and searched for it. There it was. I picked it up and entered to the others. Again, Emily then spit out, a rope. Yeah, I told her. How? Eric's asked. We tie it to the aqueducts. Then we just hold on tight and go down. You mean the pipes? Emily asked. I shook my head and then tied a triple knot around the safest looking aqueduct. I volunteered to go first, clutching my hand to the weird feeling rope. Not the kind you get in gym class. The kind that's thin and sort of threads out easily. The kind you would never use unless your life depended on it. And our lives did. Oh, our lives sure did. That was my story for the day. Gotta read it because then maybe when I read my words downstairs when I am typing, I won't be so harsh on them because at least I have grown.
thank you so much for watching today's video sorry it didn't talk about my story much again i'm just not feeling it today i hope you are but if you're not we'll get through a slump i promise we can do it let's finish and rock NaNoWriMo there's only 12 days left i will see you tomorrow on day number 19 bye bye oh wait 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 please make sure to like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video it would mean the world to me thank you so much for watching i will see you tomorrow bye bye